Hello and welcome to this Synced Stories video and I'm Chris and we're going to talk about auto flatting making your color flats automatically with Krita and this is the um, overview session where we'll talk about the workflow and the uh, the process what we have to do when we are switching from one program to the other and maybe I want to reiterate here that this is or reiterate but uh, I want to I want to say it once more uh, as I did in the last video also uh, and that is that we we are we're going to go from photoshop to krita and then back again so so the program workflow is something like this let's see if i just can get my brush working here if I have correct opacity and too many layers, there it is. Okay, so let's just bring this out. I'm not sure how I did that, but Let's just clean it up like that. Just fill it again. Okay, so let's let's do that. We have a program workflow, right? We have program program. workflow and in our case for the auto flatting process we are going to start in Photoshop you could of course use your ordinary whatever drawing program you have which you are familiar with if you're using Manga Studio or any other the process is the same uh, then what we'll do is that we'll go to Krita to actually make the flats the color flats and then we will go back to Photoshop again So this is the workflow when it comes to using the program. So workflow program I'm going to write here. So that's that layer. Okay, workflow program. So first we do, we're working with our line art here in Photoshop. And then we are converting that line art in Krita to the color flats. And then we're going back to Photoshop and we are uh, using those color flats to produce the real colors. And and this process is very predictable it it um, it usually 99.9% .9 of the time this takes one minute or less maybe even 30 seconds 
or 20 seconds, depending on how fast your program <laughs> opens. So that's that's quick. But the um, um, how should I say the 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 time-consuming thing might be occurring up here in Photoshop. So this could take any time, anything like maybe maybe you can do it quick here sometimes. So this could take perhaps one minute only if you want depending on how your line art looks like. But this could take... Uh, well, let's say, let's say 10 minutes or something. Something like that. So depending on how complex your line art is and how many lines you have and how those lines if all are connected or not connected you may have to do figure uh, to, to fix that manually so to speak <coughs> so this is the time estimate here and then when you have the So then here you produce, the actual production is quick of the color flats, but then you have to use the color flats to produce the colors, but that's simply just exchanging the colors to other colors. Uh, so each of the colored areas, um, so, so in, let's see, let's see, we can open open this file here to just show you this is a panel on page 10 of um, my latest science fiction adventure here and um, here we see here this is the pr produced by Krita and we will actually do I will I will do this work after after I'm um, through with the theory here, I will actually do this work so you can see what I'm doing. So the second half of this video will be dedicated to that. But here is the, so you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, blah, 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 15 color areas perhaps each of which you have to replace with the real colors. So depending on how many areas you have, how complex your line art is, and how many characters, how much details, backgrounds, if you have 500 cars that all have to be, you know, that, that takes a long time too. So, so but anyway, so then you arrive at your, what I call base colors, which is the local colors, or the colors, sort of, the, the, the flat colors, so to speak, the, the sort of non, non-wavy colors. There is no structure in them, there is no, um, there is no light in, on one side and a little bit darker on the other side. There's nothing like that. These are just straight colors. So then, you, of course, you have the, the, the work of how do you transform the simple colors here with to something which is more alive and more uh, artistically pleasing, perhaps, and like that. So that's another... That's another uh, side of the story, so to speak. So, which we, I will not, uh, I will not cover in this video. Okay, so let's leave that for now. This, and we can actually close it because we are going to produce another one in this video. Okay, so so this is the workflow of. Um, the application usage here 
and uh, uh, right so then I should say I'll write something here maybe I can say five minutes here five to ten minutes here just as a sort of a guide but naturally the selection of colors I mean if you really know exactly which colors you are going to use you you know the exact um, color of the face you know the exact color of the blue sky you know the exact color of the red car then it's quick but sometimes of course when you're combining when you're doing one panel and then um, and you have to fit it with other panels on the page then of course you may realize later on that you have to go back and, and fix the colors and make the the red one a little lighter perhaps more saturated less saturated lighter brighter or darker um, or ch change the hue uh, and so I mean uh, you could do so many things right so this estimate in five to ten minutes that's just a like a rough estimate of how to come to something which is reasonable from the X flats to 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 um, replace the X flats uh, false colors to to something which is more like real colors but still we're talking about no effects no uh, gradients no nothing like that it's just a, a first approximation of how the panel colors will be so here we then see that it's it's uh, we're talking about uh, maybe something like um, max like 20 minutes work to arrive at a rough estimate of the colors from uh, as long as we have the our line art the our real line art if, if that's ready to go then we can produce these things uh, rather quickly but in my experience it's of course the line art that takes most time alright so that's the program workflow and then we can also look at the uh, hard disk that's another view here just take this is well I, c I can actually take the the real folder here in my so you can see a little my organization so I have the UD11 stuff up here and we can actually use Windows here for to see if we can zoom in uh, zoom in I don't know if it works okay it works so this is the the lens view see if I can get this okay so here up here then we have the folders UD work and that's the main folder here we have the UD 11 stuff in which I have more folders and then I have pages a which is that I'm having uh, just a long uh, long um, how do you say many rows of pages here so it's page 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 etc so these are all folders and in each folder I have uh, panels rows which you don't see here of course and cores so I'm building the page so I'm first doing all the panels in one row and then I'm pasting those 
on that row and when all the four rows of the page is ready then I paste them all in a core so the finished panels then the finished rows and the finished cores those are the three main folders uh, okay and now we're looking at panel A2 on page 8 and this is a little shaky this magnifying glass kind of okay I'm trying to keep it still here um, all right so we have here we have then three three documents the first one called thin panel finished panel is a Photoshop document let's see if we can scroll over yes the Photoshop right and then we have the four X flats that's the PNG file which is generated from Photoshop four X flats so I'm calling my my preparatory line work this is my X flats line art I couldn't have named it that much better perhaps but this is shorter so four X flats so intended to be converted to X flats for the purpose of doing X flats so that's the PNG file which I create from inside Photoshop and then I'm using that PNG file and I'm opening it in Krita and then I'm doing the X flats and then I create the X flats done document which I save as a PSD file from inside Krita so in Krita I export or I, I do a save as um, and this will be a PSD document which I then double click on to get into Photoshop automatically back again so I can continue using my Photoshop file so I'm all the time I'm using this oh this is so hard to okay I'm using this finished panel document so I'm um, this is where I do all my work all the time where I draw where I mount the panel I mount the frame I mount the balloons I mount the balloon text I mount I draw I draw my panel contents here um, and I produce my X flats line art here and then I export it to the PNG file and then I import the the doc uh, the the X flats done document and um, so I'm back again in Photoshop and I'm so I'm continuing with the coloring and the color effects and all that so so that's so that's the beauty of this solution I can still use Photoshop for for 99% of my work and I can produce my X flats automatically all right so let's quit this Windows magnifier stuff and let's um, go back to the to Photoshop itself right so we have looked at the hard disk uh, folders and now let's go in into Photoshop itself and uh, into the document itself I should say into the finished panel document
And this is the result I did um, some months ago. So, but we will not look at that. What we will look at is let's now actually do this process. So you can see here on the left, I have my merged line art here, and this is where I'm gradually building layer by layer by layer by layer by layer and I'm coming to a state of affairs that is something which I accept as okay. It will never be perfect but I will say that oh this is this is uh, all right at least. And here uh, when I'm here so so now the process is in t to make a copy of this line art and fix it so that I can export it to Krita. And that process is uh, out, uh, it's it's what I what I'm doing is of course to to I'm just calling it X flats line art instead of uh, line art. So this is the n normal line art with this fellow here, as as. Uh, as it w was inked on the on a on a page, but the X flats line art will be something that is f um, fixed. So I'm fixing it in some way. Okay, so so I will do this quickly now. Hopefully, and we will see. Uh, and I'm just going to. Well, I just um, I'll just do it as I usually do it. So I simply just when I am here merge line art, I simply just merge this with white, and I merge it with a special frame that I call my. It's down here in my grids X flats frame. There it is. So I merge that uh, with white and with the merge line art, and I do a Control Alt. Oh, whip, whoops, sorry. I do a Control Alt uh, E. Oh no, I, did, I I was wrong there. Sorry about that. It it had moved or I the frame and the merge line art and the white okay all right now i do a control alt e so i make a new layer i'm not merging the three layers into one but i'm merging the three layers into a new one right and then we'll just hopefully this worked Like that it seems to work, and then I am just starting here. I'm adding on top of my old ones. I I don't want to throw them away. Okay, so let's see. So here we are now, and it's time to fix this up to be ready to be um, sent to Krita. So let's. Okay, so my goal here again. Uh, well, I there's another video where I'm preparing. I'm I'm actually talking about all the all the things that I'm doing here also, but but this will be quicker, so we don't waste any time. So I'll just uh, I'll just quickly go ahead and. And do this. Let's X this out. 
all these lines we don't need because they don't create color areas. Um, so the idea is simply that we have to c connect these lines so that Krita can produce color areas. So here for instance I'm using the brush now and just I'm filling in to the black frame here so that so that this whole area above will be one area and this whole area down here will be one area and I'm fixing I'm just quickly doing this because my real frame I'm just going to say my real frame is here so whatever happens on the corners here I don't care right now at least I don't care because I know they will be outside the frame. All right, so good. So I have so I have one frame for the X flats for the external flats. X flats is my name um, because I'm producing it out, outside Photoshop I call them external. So my X flats um I have one frame which is bigger than the frame which is used by the normal line work or the normal line art. Right, so then we have filled in those areas here and this seems to be some... We don't want that. question is where does the leg go the leg goes there okay there it is okay so we can just clean that up a little bit so we and then we zoom in here a little bit as so we can see down here Uh, so I'm connecting all the black lines and what Krita will do is it will produce a color it will split every line in half so to speak so the color area will end along the middle of this line here if, if, if you take for instance or the middle of this line. So, so if I have very thin lines, there's no problem of, of making them a little thicker as long as I'm doing it along the middle of, of the already existing line uh, work. So, all right, good. So now that is done. Let's see, we have go down a little bit here. And so, one thing I'm doing now here is I'm thinking how is this going to be colored? And my answer is his, his uh, dress here or his, his spacesuit is going to be all the same color. It's going to be light blue, some something like that, light blue. So what I don't want here is have all these lines. Because I don't want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, I don't want all these areas because I know, I mean, those would be needed if I were, were to have a, a multicolored suit, but, it, but it's not, it's blue, just blue. So one, one thing you could do is simply is just take, uh, X this out here and just do like that. So, so the, these lines are no, no longer connected. So Krita will 
hopefully fix that. Uh, listen to your advice there. That uh, you don't you want the same color area. We can do this a little better. And and the beauty of this process is that it's it's about painting. It's about drawing here. It's not about using the lasso tool or the lasso, the poly, poly what's called polygonal, polygonal. Um, it's not about that. It's about producing nice artwork. So, so the X flats line art is also line art to make it clean, because you know. So, so in this way, you already get to see beforehand more clearly what, what the what the X flats um, is going to be produced, what kind of color flats you're actually are going to have, because you you sort of filter out already before you send it to Krita, you, um, you are sort of forced to, to seeing things in, in advance. And here is also an interesting effect here that, um, which I'm using. I'm not sure if anyone else uses it like this, but whenever I have a motion line effect, I'm I'm erasing the lines of the actual things behind those motion lines just so that the motion lines are sort of they are center stage and then I'm letting the colors but but I am letting the colors behind uh be there as they are. Sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes I I fill in here with white. Um some some kind of fifty percent transparent or something. But but there's always some color in the background anyway. So so since I know that I want the colors that I do not want. I know that I do not want the motion lines with me to the coloring proce process. So I'm erasing the motion lines. And then I'm fixing the, the ch this is a chair or his, his a seat, a cockpit seat, and we are on the brush here. So I'm fixing this seat here, remaking it like that quickly here. And then the same goes here for the seat, you see here in the, uh, as for the suit, that I don't want separate areas here. I know that all these areas are uh, going to be just one color. So I'm removing all these partitions here, these subdivisions here. And I'm doing the same here with the legs here. I don't want that. Make the white a little bigger. Just make it nice. Like that, and go back again here to that, and then the, and we have, have to have the leg coming here somewhere. I'm not sure if this is hidden by the frame, but 
No, it isn't really. So, but the, but this lag must come there somewhere. And then we can also see here that if I now, yeah, I also want the chair, the armrest kind of continuation here to go down there. So like that. So we have connected those areas so that they are going to be colored. Of course, it's not it's not a disaster if if there is some area that that is not uh, covered. If you forget one area, you can always fix it manually later on in Photoshop. So it's but it's it's um, but if you forget it many times, then it may not. Maybe you just have to re redo everything. And then go back to Krita and re re remake the the process. It depends. You you have to see that for yourself. How for every situation, if if it's too much, if if you forgot too many th things, then it may be worthwhile just to go back to Photoshop and and fix those in the line work and then regenerate the color flats, the X flats from there. Go back to Krita and re redo them quickly. So, okay, so we removed the partitions there as well and we can make this, beautify this a little bit, even if it doesn't show. And connected, connected, connected. Let's see here, what, what do we have there? Right, it's that. Okay, all right. So this is all right. So it's a seat belt that comes here, and all right. So we, but we have a look big here, but oops, sorry. Okay, so fix this. So this is the the seat belt comes. There are two seat belts, right? So, and we're going to fix these partitions here also. And this is quite simple. But this line, of course, is the end of the blue suit. So, and, and here comes his uh, color, real skin color. Okay, so we want it to be black there. All right, so I think that's, let's look at that, how that looks like. And the question is, what is that? Okay, that's nothing. Okay, let's just... I think it's always very nice if you can just clean as much as possible up here so that... Because the less lines you you have left, the easier you can, you can see if all of them are, are connecting nicely and are... Uh, are delineating the right areas and here you can see I almost forgot this but look at this this is too this is too um, thin here this is there's almost not, not a line this this is the question whether Krita could handle that that I don't think so 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 this is the virtue if you're virtues here and <laughs> if you are um, if you are um, metho methodical and you are sort of checking everything before you throw it away to Krita then uh, you will have 
guaranteed success. It's a bit bold to, to be saying that. You never know what will happen, but in my experience, I, I it never really fails if you're just if you spend a few minutes in Photoshop cleaning it up as much as possible like that okay we still have a few lines here white little white here and then we are we're good to go so those and there's one line there also make it a little bigger here right and then we have those lines down there as well which we don't need and of course here down here with his legs this line ends in nowhere so so we, we could just as well minimize this already now to we know that it should be the same color here so, so we're thinking ahead of time here and the same thing here with this um, Oh, here, here's something I, I didn't see before. Let's fill that in. No gap there, please. And there should be no gap here either. So we should. And here, in my experience, you can you can just as well use the brush everywhere. It's just that when I'm erasing, I like the pencil tool because it's I don't have to pressure. I don't have to worry about any grace to be left is it, it when it, when I go over it with a pencil I only get white so okay and we can f maybe I'm back in my brush tool here now let's see let's see I just maybe I can do that here it's easier to see it on the screen here for you guys you see which what I'm doing right so that's and then I fix a little white there also okay let's zoom out and see what we have ah yeah we should do our, the um, pattern on the seat here also so let's pencil tool and we have white on our pencil. I'll just fix that up there. Maybe we can fill it in with the brush here. Fix it up there a little bit. Okay, and then we continue with our pencil tool here. A little there and a little there. And then we are just going down here. And I have some stuff here on my screen, uh, small dots, and I don't know. So sometimes here I have <laughs> I have something on the screen. I thought it was on the uh, on the image but it wasn't so better clean my screen when I record this video okay so basically that's it um, I think maybe we can clean this up here in the corner here also just be quick just for the for good measure all right so do we have any 
unconnected areas or unconnected lines? That is the question. I'm using the hand tool to go over our line art now manually here. Do we have any unconnected lines? Oh, there is something there, maybe. Can, okay, like that. On the left side here. And there is something fishy. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good. All right, so then let's just rock and roll then. So I have X flats. I'm saving that. And of course, this should have the name line art here. Clean or something, you can name it. And now I just go up in the normal save for web menu command. So I get up the big dialog box. And of course it's all it's down there, but now it's uh, it's too big magnification, so you have to trust me on that. Transparency off, as I was talking about in the other video, in in the part one video, and also PNG A tier. This will work well in Krita. And now I'm going to, let's see, I have a, I'm just going to, where do I have this? We have this in, I have many hard drives here, so I have to know where I'm, Okay, so where should I put it? Okay. Now I don't understand. Okay, oh well. So here is my old version. And now I'm going to save the new version as just another name. So 4x flats PNG. And for fun we can see what I did with the with the original one. What's the difference? Is there any difference? Okay, let's this is the this is my original as I did it the first time which you didn't see and this is number two which we did now and I think this is better. So uh, this will probably work. So now let's just uh, put Photoshop on hold by hiding it. And I am in Krita or I am in uh,
I am here now in uh, so this is the original one no sorry this is the original one 4x plus and th this is the one we did right now um, so what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing the PNG file and I'm dragging it over to my Krita symbol which I have on my other monitor over here and Krita should then open I can see the start on the other monitor now so it's loading the main window and here it comes so now we are have opened the PNG you can see it in the, up here uh, and it's the number two the the latest one we did right now so now what I'm doing is that I'm going to filter menu I'm saying start gmic qt and I'm I'm getting a preview here in this um, let's see if we can switch the because I like to have the preview on the right side and I want to have the white or the light theme um, right something like that okay now it didn't something happened there with here it comes again okay so so then if you have the right settings you will get nice colors and so you can tweak around here a little bit I'll, I'm going to show you in in the in the other video which is specialized for Krita um, a little, I'm going to talk a little bit about these settings but I don't do it now because this, I'm just showing you that this process works and this of course settings thing I did uh, I never do that more than once in a lifetime, right? So this is this is now down because I've I've installed a new um, a new version of Krita just yesterday, so I I hadn't done this. All right, so now I just press OK. And the X flats is now done, but now Krita is, is, has done a, a, an error in the programming so they are renaming the wrong fi file the wrong layers up here so so what they're doing what I'm doing always is just I have to just remove the um, the, the upper layer with uh, I think it's control delete right or shift delete yeah there is shift delete and then we have just the one layer that we want which is the the X flats done layer so now I just save it with control shift s which is wh what is it called control shift is save as okay so it's control shift s save as and then as photoshop image and then i rename it x flats done right and then i just quit krita and then what i do is simply i click on the X was done file and then I'm back in back in Photoshop so here you can see that the, there is some weird things going on here which doesn't happen to me at any other time 
So there, there are some parameters that I have not um, tweaked perfectly well. There, there's something because you see here's too many small areas, uh, and also in the fingers here. I mean, in the, I here this this is crystal. There are no areas in the fingers here. This is completely white here. So normally when I do this, when I have my standard settings, this is going to be perfect. This is everything is just as nice as as this arm, as you can see in my old X flats down here. This is the this is how it should should be done if if the settings are right. So I I just have to revert to my old settings which I have saved of course so and then I will get this because this is this is there's no no work to be done here this this is perfect perfectly generated as I wanted it but but it depends on the settings and that that is the problem with Krita that you have to find the settings right but uh, but in general the technique works well so it, it does produce the explants and it does uh, almost good but so I will uh, so if you want to get the full story of, of exactly which settings you have you should have uh, then you can watch my part two video of the auto flatting with Krita, uh, which will come up uh, in a few days. So that's, and then uh, then I will redo this uh, using exactly the same line art, the, using the exact same X flats line art as I did now, and then I will um, show you that uh, we will get a much much better um, X flats uh, production if we have the settings uh, perfectly uh, in place. And then you can just copy my own settings uh, to use in your own. I'll, I'll show you what I'm changing. Okay, so then we just go back. Okay, so now we are in back in in Photoshop uh, with our new X flats file. We have that there. And then I just select all, copy, and I paste it in my base colors. Uh, folder down here and I rename it to X flats and I lock it immediately so I don't screw it up and then I just make a, a duplicate of that with alt dragging it up unlocking it and renaming it to colors And then, of course, I take away the X flats line art up here so I can see the colors, and then I put my merged line art over it, which is already multiply. If, if it weren't multiply, it would look like this, right? So, but it's multiply, so it's transparent. So now I just can see immediately that it it fits perfectly the color areas match perfectly to the line art and by also another trick you can do if you want to fix certain areas that that Krita would miss or if if, if you are for instance changing your merge line art and you have to redo the coloring then you can um, then you can um, make the layer 
opacity, let's say you make it 50%, or maybe it's even, let's make it 20, 20% to 25%. So then you can down, if you zoom in here now, you can see exactly what I was talking about before, that Krita is splitting. So the line art is split in half along the along it so to speak so so if you were so let so if i were to for instance now um let's say i wanted to change this line i don't want that but but let, I, you know, i'm just doing let's say i'm redrawing this in a late stage now i'm I'm almost finished with my line art, but now I just have to fix this a small thing here. Let's say I want to big biceps here instead, right? But now the colors are wrong, right? So, so I have to fix the colors at the late stage. Okay, how do I do that now? So now I make my opacity 20% and I select the colors layer again and then I just choose my blue color here click on it and paint with the pencil and then when I'm painting with the pencil I'm sure to do the same thing Krita did which was to paint halfway in in the in the, in the line art and I can see the line art now at the same time as as I'm coloring, so it's very simple to see that this this gets uh, done nicely. So it's it's very convenient to to work like this. So now it's done. I can say if if Krita had done its work, uh, then uh, we would be very close now. But of course we have to change the actual colors also. So, so now we just, um, let's say we just use our magic wand on the blue here. Let's say we actually want this, as I said, lighter. So we just go in the U saturation dialog and bring it up and that's, that's it. And <clears throat> and this and and Krita split it here for some reason. Well, then we just okay. Then we just uh, get that color again, and we do another wand here, and then we'll just fix that. And then another wand, and then we'll do that like that. So it's it's very it's it's fixable. It's but. But you you would have wanted everything to just be uh, one area here, but uh, okay, so we can do this simply anyway. Doesn't let's not waste any tears on it too much. <laughs> so let's just do like this now then. Once more here. So you get the picture. So now I am in a colors and and everything seems to work very very well. And this is of course much too dark background here. So let's take up the U window again and let's make it lighter. Then we can something reasonable. Uh, maybe we want it green or something. I don't know. We can. It's always so much fun to to try new new colors and try to make. I don't know. I mean, just. But but the whole point is that now we are very close to <coughs> to being ready with the panel. So I'm deselecting with Control D here, and I'm just checking the frame here all right and then i'm just re 
inst reinstating the 100% opacity and then I'm um, so so it's 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 like this you this is the workflow so we just have to um, get the settings in Krita all right and we have to always as I said before in the part one video you have to be very careful with the transparency because if you have transparency in in your X flats line art that you are opening up in Krita then Krita may flip out and, and not produce anything it has happened to me many times so maybe they changed something now in the new version I don't know but, but uh, I know just as a precaution uh, don't forget that all right so that's I think that sort of wraps it up and um, and I forgot to mention of course before that the artwork seen in this um, example uh, with the uh, auto flatting with Krita is from my 987 degrees centigrade science fiction action thriller adventure starring Barry Riley the uh, arrogant space captain who who's doing his own thing and he is uh, in a lot of trouble and a lot of danger and a lot of action and uh, there is uh, lots of uh, fun things happening in this first album this is 40 pages and it's color and it's unlimited danger season one and it's just one out of eight books that uh, is um, completing the season one um, of unlimited danger so we have other volume other books like collision course earth and uh, the alien signal and there's countdown genesis among others so i'm hoping that you will be intrigued by this and that you are checking this out when it becomes available next year all right so um until then uh, i hope you have a, a great time this to spend with this auto flatting with krita and um I'm hoping that you will have a great day. See you next time, next video. Bye-bye.